Good day YouTube, this is Jay with Falling Forward Financial. Um, I made a video about this uh, one yesterday, uh, Global Star, uh, ticker GSAT, and I've heard a lot of uh, chatter about it uh, lately. Um, I've thought about getting into it uh, myself in regards to the uh, run-up. I was actually in it uh, way back when, uh, you can see that on my uh, other video that I made yesterday. Um, but anyway, I come across some info and um, I don't know about this one after I read the uh, information that I'll go over with you here. And um, uh, like I said, I was thinking about getting into this one in regards to the run-up. And it uh, kind of came down a little bit um, on uh, Friday. And um, anyway, we'll uh, jump into it and I'll uh, show you what I'm uh, referring to here. Uh, if you don't know what uh, this one is about, you can watch my other video. I'll give you a quick synopsis here. It's a uh, mobile satellite services, voice and data communication services through satellite worldwide. It offers communication services via satellite, which includes two-way voice communication and data transmissions using mobile or fixed devices, and one-way data transmissions using a mobile or fixed device. And you can go ahead and pause it and read the rest there for yourself. It's got a $1.92 billion market cap. Founded in 2003, not too bad on the uh, volume, and I do not currently own any shares of this one. Um, just trying to see who all out there has this one, and uh, see how many shares, and see what you bought into it at, and just kind of get some uh, feedback on it. Um, but it looks like uh, Morgan Stanley had downgraded it after the uh, strong rally here, and I think that's why it dropped on uh, Friday. The uh, stock has rallied. In recent weeks, rising 266% year to day and 297% over the past three months. And valuation looks full, according to Morgan Stanley. The uh, gold, Global Star analyst Simon Flannery, Flannery downgraded Global Star from equal weight to underweight with an unchanged 55 cent price target. Uh, so that's kind of what's. Um, making me leery on uh, pulling the uh, trigger on this one, but um, uh, maybe it's a good thing, maybe I'll buy into it when it, um, if it does go down that low, but um, uh, while the uh, bull case seems to be priced into the company's shares, there is uncertainty around a spectrum monetization event, Flannery said in the Friday downgrade note. The stock has rallied due to several positive de developments including the broader small cap rally increased investor interest across the space ecosystem. Deals inked with Nokia, as I went over in my other video, Port of Seattle and Sears Tag, as well as an increase in C-band spectrum auction spending, highlighting the importance of the mid-band spectrum as carriers look to 5G offerings. And so that's why I was kind of watching it um, in regards to uh, 5G. I was looking for some 5G plays. Uh, the implied uh, spectrum valuation now stands at uh, 60 cents uh, below C-band's pricing, but well above recent CBR's auction. The company also needs to raise approximately $41 billion of equity by March 31st, 2021, which the company expects will come via warrant exercise. Uh, so that could be a, another possible thing that could um, even lower the price. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. At current levels, we believe the stock is discounting a bullish view of their spectrum volume. value. Uh, the price action shares of Global Star lost 16.3% in Friday session closing at a dollar four and as you can see here downgrades equal weight to underweight and the other two or the previous in uh, June was equal weight and so this is the uh, most recent um, analyst target here um, but just thought that was kind of interesting and um, this also goes over why the uh, stock plunged on uh, Friday. 
uh, fell on Friday following bearish analyst remarks, kind of what we've already went over, and Global Stars stopped from equal weight to underweight and placed a 55 per, or 55 cent price forecast on its shares. And um, so just uh, throwing this out there, um, if you're getting into this one or thinking about it, I would be kind of uh, cautious. Um, if you are getting into it, I'd maybe set your stop so you don't um, buy it at a dollar or whatever it's at and then it drops to 50 cents and lose a bunch of money because I know these type of stocks, cheaper ones, um, people you know, buy 100, 500, 1,000 shares at a time, and which can be kind of risky. So uh, just wanted to throw this out there and just kind of as a forewarning, I'm still watching this one. I would still like to get into it as a 5G play, but uh, with this news, I'm going to sit back and kind of wait on it. But uh, Global Star stock price soared in recent weeks. Following deals with Nokia and BattleBox, just as I talked in my other video, uh, go ahead and watch that one. I'll uh, leave it in the description. Uh, Nokia is working with Tideworks Technology to deploy Global Stars Band 53 Spectrum at the Port of Seattle. Meanwhile, BattleBox subscribers will receive a Gen GPS Messenger device from Global Stars Spot subsidiary as part of their monthly subscription box service. Yet all the although these deals are certainly positives for Global Star, they likely don't justify the sharp upward move in the stock price so far this year. Investors therefore may want to consider taking profits in Global Star. Uh, so right there you have it. Um, if you have any, um, just as I said, you may want to uh, consider taking profits and um, of course uh, once you do that it'll uh, usually on other stocks that I've watched that usually drives down the uh, price as well so um, but anyway uh, this is kind of what it's done over the last week kind of had a run up and um, I suppose there was some profit taken here and then it's just kind of running down again so just one to watch um, like I said I've heard a lot of people talking about this one and um, the other video I did, um, it's gotten some views, and I've seen some other videos out there that's got quite a few views, and just wanted to do an update on this one, and just to uh, tell you to be cautious, and I'm still watching it, I still wouldn't mind getting into it, like I said, as a 5G play, but um, there's probably other 5G plays out there that's better than this one right at this point in time, so... And if you haven't hit that like button, if you could go ahead and hit that for me, that really helps out the channel as well as subscribing. Uh, I think I'm up to 170 right now. I'm shooting for uh, 200 subscribers by the end of the month. That would uh, help me out as well. Um, it looks like about 85% of you that uh, watch my videos are uh, only subscribing. Um, or, I'm sorry, are not subscribing. So I need um, part of that 85% to go ahead and subscribe. So it um, increases my... Uh, channel and uh, so we can get the word out to uh, more people so um, anyway that's it for uh, Global Star I'll be watching this one next week might do an update on it and we'll see and I appreciate all the uh, comments and if you have this one or if you're dumping it or dumped it on Friday let me know that would be interesting to know or your thoughts uh, just in general on it and, um, and we'll see you all on the uh, next one happy trading happy investing stay green cheers